Hello students, as we learnt adsorption in the previous two videos, but still a question arises. Why the adsorbate particles are attracted toward the surface of adsorbent? Maybe this question has arised in your mind. So do you want to know the solution for this problem? Yes. So let us discuss uh, and find the solution for this problem in its mechanism. So let us discuss the mechanism of adsorption. In the previous year, we have learned that uh, there are two types of particles that is particle in the bulk which is equally attracted or we can say uniformly attracted by the neighboring particles. So there is no net force. But the particle which is on the surface will experience a downward force because there is no particles on above it. In the same way liquid also we can say this is the bulk particle which is equally attracted in all the direction but the particle which is on the surface it experiences a downward force. Because of this downward force only we can say the particles of the surface are under the tension as we have learned in liquids. So the particles of the surface possesses an unbalanced or residual attractive force. Because of this reason only, the particles on the surface are attracting the adsorbate particles towards itself. So these unbalanced force of adsorbent are responsible for attracting the adsorbate particles on its surface. So greater the surface area, greater will be the surface particle. So we can say that greater will be the adsorption at a given temperature and pressure. So let us discuss the thermodynamic aspect of adsorption. Last year we have learned some of the terms in thermodynamics that is enthalpy change, entropy change. Yes. As the process of adsorption is exothermic because during the process of adsorption there is decrease in the residual force that means decrease in the surface energy. Therefore adsorption is an exothermic and when the process is exothermic at the time we can say that the delta H that is enthalpy change will be negative. Since the particles of adsorbate are attracted by the surface particles of adsorbent, therefore these particles that is adsorbate particles have less tendency to move freely. That means its entrop entropy decreases. So entropy that means change in entropy that is delta S become decreases therefore we can say it is negative. And last year we have learned that uh, in order to be a reaction or the process spontaneous delta G should be negative. So let us see when these two values are negative how this value will be negative. That will be discussing using the equation that is Gibbs equation delta G is equal to delta H minus T delta S which we have learned last year. So I'm rewriting this equation here once again that is delta G is equal to delta H minus T delta S that is gibbs helmholtz equation. So just now we have discussed in the adsorption process delta H is negative uh, delta S is also negative because here minus T delta S and delta S is negative. So this whole value we can say that it will become positive. So one is negative the other value is positive. So how delta G will be negative in which condition the delta G will be negative only when this value that is delta H value its magnitude is high sufficiently high then only we can say that delta G will be negative. So 
as the process of adsorption continues what it is observed that delta h becomes less and less negative and t delta s becomes increases so ultimately a stage appears where delta h is equal to t delta s so when delta g h is equal to t delta s what we can say that delta g is equal to 0 because of the equation which we have discussed delta g is equal to delta h minus t delta s so a stage when these two values will be equal at this stage this value will become 0 equal to 0 so and when delta g is equal to a 0 for a reaction or the process then we can say that a equilibrium stage is attained and this equilibrium stage is called as adsorption equilibrium so we have discussed that adsorption is an exothermic process so therefore during the adsorption we can say adsorbate is here adsorbent is here and the adsorbate particles are uh, retained on the surface of adsorbate and heat is evolved it's an exothermic process so when the equilibrium stage is attained at the time the two processes like adsorption and desorption takes place at the same rate that means adsorption that means the particles which is attracting on the surface of it and desorption the particles leaving the surface it takes place at the same rate then we can say the stage is called as equilibrium stage and at this stage delta g is equal to 0. So let us summarize this topic what we have learned this topic that adsorption is an exothermic process and this adsorption is due to unbalanced force experienced by the surface particles and when the process continues delta g becomes 0 and the equilibrium stage is appeared. So this is all about the mechanism of adsorption. In the next video, we will be discussing on the type of adsorption. I hope it is clear to you. So thank you everyone.